The news surrounding Gabby Petito's disappearance not only dominated headlines in the U.S., but around the world. So many people feeling a connection to a young woman they would never meet. People wanting to learn more about Gabby. Across the country, thousands honored her with blue ribbons. Just 22 years old when her life was cut short. Many of you have shared that Gabby reminds you of someone in your own life, young, full of joy, adventure, happiness, and hope for the future. And the outpouring of support from total strangers, something her family has said that they are forever grateful for. I just hope that um, people are inspired by her. Um, it's hard to put into words, but it, it means a lot to me that she's touched so many lives already. Some good can come out of it, that we can help other people that may be in a similar situation. We can't let her name be taken in vain. We need, we need positive stuff, all right? So anything that we can do to bring that up and, and, and help people, that's what we want to do. Gabby's parents have created the Gabby Petito Foundation, which raises money not only to help provide resources for other missing person cases, but also to help victims of domestic violence. For more information, visit GabbyPetitoFoundation.org. I'm going to go back now to Brian Enton, who is in Wyoming at Grand Teton National Park tonight. Brian, it is heartbreaking to see you go back to that spot where the white van was parked on the side of a dirt road and to trek through uh, that creek and walk back to the place where Gabby's remains were discovered. I know for you, having been covering this story since the very beginning, it must be surreal and overwhelming. What struck you about that area? And just walk us back through um, what it was like being there. Yeah, I think the word that, that you said really is the right word, sort of surreal. Um, I, I messaged with Gabby's mom that, that we were out there, uh, and I just kept thinking about her and and Gabby's family and the fact that, that they were out there in the, in the same spot. And I guess that was really at the forefront of my mind the entire time, thinking what it, it must have been like for, for them to be out there. Um, and, and the sort of interesting thing is, you know, you're, you're there thinking about, how awful it is that that her her body was there and, and what must have happened to her but it's just such an incredibly beautiful setting at the same time and there is this strange sense of peace there because there are these creeks that move through the area and it's surrounded by mountains um, um and as i said in the piece in the beginning i mean you can just hope that you know the, the peaceful surroundings bring some comfort um to gabby's family at, le at least in some way a place that we know she loved so much based on what her family has shared and all of those videos that were so public for the world to see. Brian Enton, thank you. And we come back answering your questions about this case. Brian will be back along with Jennifer Koffendoffer standing by. Don't go anywhere. Our special report continues right after this. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.